Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, a bit late to welcome you. I think you've been welcomed already. Uh, my name is Tony Rains. Nico Mazzano has asked me very, very kindly asked me to uh, host this part of the evening. So it's my first pleasure to invite you to welcome back the creator of the film you've just seen, Dragonfly Eyes, Mr. Xu Bing. And uh, uh, Dee Law is going to help us with some translation. Why don't you take a seat, pick up the mic. Um, the, format, the format is this. I chat. I ask questions just to get things going and to perhaps cover some of the basic ground. And then after uh, you've heard enough of me and us, uh, you get the chance to ask questions. And there's a roving mic somewhere at the back that will come to you. So uh, if you can raise a hand or something to let us know that you'd like to ask a question, uh, hang on then for a moment until the mic reaches you and everything will proceed smoothly. So let me start by asking a few basic things about this film. Um, your a visual artist, basically. You're a very famous visual artist. You've done many, many famous things. Um, what made you interested in film? Why film? Why did you turn to film? Uh, <laughs> Um, the, the original thought of this film started in 2013. Yeah. I, I saw some surveillance uh, footage on TV. Yeah. I thought these images were very interesting. Yeah. I thought if someone could make a fiction film um, using these sort of surveillance footage, it would be very interesting. Uh, that's because all the existing fiction films are, are with actors. So I started collecting these sort of imageries. It was more difficult back then. So uh, the, the project kind of stopped. And then, I and then I discovered in 2015 that on the cloud, on the internet, there's lots of um, imageries. So I prepared 20 so I, I uh, put together 20 computers, and, and uh, these computers work 24 hours uh, downloading these images. So I, uh, sorry, just let me clarify. So I finished the film in June last year. Uh, your question? Uh, sort of. No, not really. Because the, the, question, the question was, why did you move to film? I, I understand that you, you were impressed by this surveillance footage you saw on TV. But it doesn't answer the question, why did you suddenly shift from visual arts, from sculpture, and from conceptual art, and from uh, other things, installations, sculptures, all these things that you've done before, into making... I mean, you have done things with light before, I know. There's a thing... There's a thing, uh, I forget what it's called, ba background story or something it's called, um, which is light play, yeah. but not movie. Yeah. Um, actually, it's, uh, I'm an artist, so my art work is used in all kinds of materials. Because I don't have the style of the art itself. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm an artist, I use all sorts of materials in my art. I don't necessarily think that the style itself is very important in my work. 所以呢,那個我我覺得所有的藝術風格和材料和手段都是過去的藝術家為了說他們要說的事而創造的。I think all the the medium, um, the material and the methods of making art um pre-existed because people had their stories to tell. Yeah.所以呢,這個因為我有這個想法以後呢,我覺得這個想法呢必須要做一個 
when the when I had the idea, I thought it was very important to to make a, a very long um, fiction, f movie. fiction movie, yeah. uh, so that the narrative um, uh, has more power for the ideas. is 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 more yeah. is more powerful. Uh, 如果你做一个什么试验电影，或者一个短的一个什么监控影像集锦。I think it's, it's, it wouldn't be that interesting if I were to just make a small um, short film or a collection of um, surveillance footage. Mm, yeah. So, actually, I fiction movie, but the fiction movie Hollywood movie. Uh, uh, so, you uh, uh, so you could say that it wasn't my purpose to make a, a feature film, but to uh, to make this artwork that I had in mind, it, it necessitates creating a feature film to create this um, almost Hollywood-like um, dramatic effect. Okay, where, where, where did... Uh when did Ching Ting and Ke Fan come into this? The story of Ching Ting and Ke Fan is obviously not intrinsic in the material you're collecting on all these 20 computers. When did, when did they arrive in, as part of the project? Oh, um, so uh, when when I had the idea of making this this film, um, everyone that I spoke to that's in the film industry said it, it would be impossible to to make something like this because there is no uh, there's no narrative. It's in <laughs> so then I thought I'll, I'll tell the story of 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 a, of a plastic surgery. Um, the, yeah. So. Uh, so that's that's how I, I found the character of Ching Ting who who um, came from the temples. Uh, I want the surface uh, of this film to to depict a. Uh, a love story, a romance story, and then that's how Ke Fan um, comes in. But it's not a love story because she doesn't love him. He sort of loves her, but she pushes him away. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how love stories are. Um, someone likes someone, but, but it's not reciprocated. You, 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 um, so the, the love story is this was on the surface, but, but the real story is this underneath. There's the Chinese saying, it's a little hard to translate. Uh, that means you, you hit the north and the sound comes from the, the east. Or you hit the north and the sound comes from the west, uh, which means you're, you're trying to appear to be tackling one problem where what you're doing is, is tackling the other, something else. Yeah. something else. I suspect that there are actually many, many, in fact, I know that there are many, many dimensions in this film and there are many ways you could approach it and there are many things you could say about it or many angles of, uh, or elements that could be discussed in this film. Um, so let me just try a few and see what results we get. Uh, Buddhism. The film begins and ends in a Buddhist temple and uh, there are a number of bits of, can I call it, Buddhist wisdom that seem to uh, fill the film. I mean, no, Phil is too strong, but anyway, appear in the film mm -hmm. here and there. Can you say something about the Buddhist angle? Okay. 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 Um, 
然后呢，最后呢，可能是这个一个蜻蜓的代替蜻蜓的一个化身又回到寺院。Um, so we start with the question of um, why do we have the character Ching Ting um, originating from from the temple setting, and then we end the film with um, like a reincarnated figure of Ching Ting back in the temple. 实际上呢，那个在中国的佛教讲呢，就是说我们的肉身是不重要的，而重要的是这个我们是我们存在的一个精神，就是说，哎。Um, so, so in 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 Buddhism in in China, the, um, there's the belief that our physical body um, is is not essential, and then what is essential is our our core, our spirit. So, this film's main character is You can say the lead character of this film is is combined of, of many different figures. So, at this time, it relates to a more deep question, which is that. 呃，这些不同的人共同构成的一个主角，他们之间是什么关系 ？So the the deeper question is, um, you know, all these characters made up, um, Ching Ting in in the film, and what is the relationship between these these characters? 呃，呀，然后呢，那个这个主角是不是存在 ？Does does the main does the lead character exist? 呀，这个是不是这些人都是这个主角的一个来世，或者说一个？ Or can you say that everyone is a reincarnated figure of of Ching Ting? <laughs> okay, it's it's a start. It's not bad. Um, okay, uh, uh, Kefan um, is um, well. He has strange ideas. He has strange theories about geomagnetic recordings. He has. Uh, He's very violent and impulsive. If he thinks uh, he kind of stalks Ching Ting and he uh, goes after people he thinks have hurt Ching Ting, um, uh, say something about Ke Fan, please. Ke Fan, 呢，其实是一个有点极端的一个爱情的一个人。嗯，科凡 is a is a very is a extremist extremist um, in 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 love especially. Yeah, 但实际上呢，其实科凡在这里的角色呢。它有点像一个与与今天的这种标准化这个抗争的一个唐吉诃德一样的。唐吉诃德，唐吉诃德就是跟那个风车打仗的那个。Oh, sorry, I I need to. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who this character is, but um, uh, but Kufan is an idealized figure, and is a. You can say that he relates to this character whose name is. Oh, Don Quixote. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, sorry. Yeah. It's kind of Don Quixote. Sorry, I didn't recognize. He's not with the风车打仗，他是跟这个标准化打仗的一个唐吉诃德。嗯， he's sorry, Ke Fan. Ke Fan 不是跟风筝，不是跟不不像唐吉诃德似的跟风筝打仗，而是跟那个今天的这种标准化抗争。哎，不是不是，就呃那个那个那个，风车风车，对不起。A、Kufan is is not someone that fights with a windmill,、yeah. but 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 he is someone that fights with the ideal the the idea of the the ideal figure. Yes yes, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we, I think we, we learned this at the outset when he liberates the cow. Uh, he, he, the, the, this rather futile gesture of liberating the cow, which seems to end in disaster for the cow, mm -hmm. but. The, Okay,呀，呃，实际上，所以他科凡后来去整容呢，所以那个医生呢，就是说，你为什么要人家都整成大明星的样子，你为什么要整成你过去的女朋友的样子？因为他并不好看。嗯，so this, if you recall from the film, when Ke Fan went to the plastic surgeons, they asked him, why do you want to turn into your ex-girlfriend instead of someone you know who's more beautiful and more idealized? 但是他就说，我不要整成他们一样，因为他们都长得太一样了。But for him, it's important. It's important that he's not like everybody else. That that they're so similar to each other. Just something about the geomagnetic recordings, the the, the strange theory that he has. 他说他那个那个奇怪那个理论，就是说 geomagnetic 那个地理，呃，引力会重现。哦。
哦、OK， 对，呃，对，这里面有一段呢，就是说，对，呃，这一段呢，其实是我想让他有一种暗示，就是说，即使是在今天，呃，我们整个的地球就像一个大的摄影棚，嗯，呃，无处不在的记录和直播了我们的生活。Um, so what I want to say here is that, uh, you know, the world that we are in at the moment um, is as if we're in a big film set. Everything is being recorded. Uh, um, But even under such circumstances, um, are these surveillance cameras able to um, show to demonstrate in the past what reality is at the moment? Yeah. Um, so in the Chinese culture, there is this saying, or in other cultures, it has this saying. It is said that in some circumstances, the past can be recorded. So um, in China as well as elsewhere, there 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 is uh, you know a belief, or some people say that that under certain climate settings, it is possible for such geomagnetic um, occurrences to to showcase the past again. Yeah, because I'm thinking, uh, just because we watched this surveillance footage, it actually changed my perspective on history. So after seeing um, a lot of um, surveillance footage, it actually changed my perception of, of history. So let's say if if um, we collect footage from London uh, over the course of a month and you know save it for a hundred years, show it to people in a hundred years' time, um, how would they interpret history at this moment? However, if in a hundred years you, you you are lucky enough to catch one of these uh, geomagnetic moments, um, perhaps it will be more realistic than than what our surveillance footage will show. Uh, you, you you said that you were recording on twenty computers in the studio, uh, twenty four hours a day. Um, you collected must have been thousands of hours of material. Mm, we counted it about a. 11,000. About 11,000 hours, yes. Mm. Uh, after watching 11,000 hours of surveillance footage, uh, did, you, did it change you? Did it, did it make you think differently about uh, the fact that, I mean, you must be recorded yourself many, many times. We're being recorded now. I think there's a camera over there. Oh, course, yes, right. yeah. yeah. But, that, but that's not a surveillance camera. It's, it's, a, it's a video camera, which is uh, um, doing something creative, I expect. But... but uh, Actually, uh, my studio, my team, is uh, why I saw the, the, all of the surveillance image. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so, so after everyone's um, in the studio working together, gather these images, we, uh, the common feeling that everyone has is uh, we, we must be more careful when we go outside. Um, we realize that um, in, in this world, uh, there's a lot of things that's totally out of our control, unimaginable, that, that could as well happen. It's very different to what we see with, with, our, with our eyes. So in our film, we actually used a lot of these supernatural images or supernatural images. We've used a lot of um, moments that are disastrous, um, uh, miraculous in the film. Actually, we want to use this film to show our feelings. We want to use this film to um, share with you the, the, the feeling that we had. 
而且我们也想衬托这个古典的爱情的一种微小和一种脆弱 we also want to show how, how fragile um, the kind of the classical um, story of love is. Particularly in, in today's world. Um, just one practical question. Uh, the, the, uh, the, you've already spoken, I mean, it, it's a kind of Buddhist thing almost, about the fragility of identity, the, the, that, you know, that your characters, Ching Ting and Ke Fan, have multiple incarnations in the film. I mean, many, many young men and women appear in the film as Ching Ting and Ke Fan. Um, but at the same time, they are, as you stress, uh, real young men and women. Uh, who were out there being recorded by surveillance cameras somewhere. Um, I think, uh, actually, I sort of know the answer to this already, but I think I should ask you anyway for the benefit of people who haven't heard before. Um, did you make any effort to get permission from these people to use them in your film? Mm. Um, 我们后期的工作呢，其实是花了大量的时间呢，去寻找在我们影片中出现的比较清楚的呃脸的人。So um, a big part of our post-production was to look for the characters that are that are more clearly identified in the film. 因为我们一直在观察他们的生活。We uh, spend a lot of time kind of observing their their daily lives. 所以我们其实是很希望了解他们的真实的生活是什么样的，因为我们给他插了一段跟他生活没关系的生活。So because we implanted this uh, narrative, the storyline to these characters, we became very curious of what their real lives were like. 当然呢，也想了解我们使用他的肖像，他的态度。We also want to know what their attitude might be for having their, um, you know, images being used in the film. 所以我们就开始去寻找，呃，为什么可以？我们寻找到了绝大部分的呃人。We we actually managed to locate most of the people. 嗯，实际上是因为在我们当落的这个画面的这边上呢，它其实有一个卫星的定位。Oh, so um, in the corner you can you might be able to see that there there's a satellite um location. Yeah，呃，告诉你是哪个国家的。so you know uh, where the footage came from, which a country, which city, which street, which bar. So we were like the police, we found most people. So, so we um, received a lot of permission to use um, images. We also made a documentary of the process of locating these people. 呃，这个寻找的过程和他们交谈的过程，其实让我对监控今天的监控与我们一般人生活的关系的认识，就是给我很多新的认识。So the process of locating these people and speaking to them um, gave me real, like, kind of new understanding of of um, the surveillance or the role of surveillance in our world. 呃，要我说今天呢，其实应该是一个。就是说什么一个一个一个呃后监控影像的时代 I think in fact we're in a neo surveillance era Yeah 呃是因为什么呢因为在我们这个片子上所使用的这些监控画面几乎所有的都是普通人和一般的公司呃而不是政府上传到网络上的 um, the reason I say this is because the surveillance footage you used in the film here are, are mostly generated from ordinary, um, ordinary people's lives, companies, as opposed to government surveillance. Yeah. Um, in reality, most of the surveillance footage exists democratically amongst people as opposed to being controlled by the government. Yeah. So, then I found 
，呃，与世与世界发生关系，改变自己的生活的命运。嗯、um, ，So if you think,、uh, why do people upload、um, images of themselves onto the internet? I think it's because they want to use a surveillance technology to change their relationship with the world and change their the course of their lives. 就像我们寻找的第一个人，他呢本身是在农村呢开了一个小的电脑维修店。啊 ，For example, the first person we found、um, is originally from rural China who operates a a tech shop that fixes computers. 嗯，他说在今天呢，我在这开着这个电脑店呢，其实我的兴趣都在我安的这个摄像头这儿呢，因为这个东西能让我跟世界发生更多的交流。Um, so he said, well, I'm, "I'm operating this this shop during the day, but my main interest is, is where the camera is. This is how I interact with the world." 嗯，而且呢，也可能我的一句话或者我的一个动作就可以让我改变我的命运。Maybe you know one thing that I say or one action that I that I that I do would change the course of my life. 嗯，说如果我没有安这个东西，那。你们不可能从北京来找到我。He said, "If I didn't have this camera,、uh, you wouldn't be coming here to to look for me from Beijing." Yeah, it's true.、Um, uh, apart from people like that, there are people who present themselves online as micro celebrities. I mean, they have their own streaming sites, and they sing and they ask for gifts and all those things. You've、uh, that I think is a quite a recent development. It's a bit different from surveillance footage. It's it, it's a kind of hosted streaming sites,、um, but it's、uh, and it's a more recent thing. But you've also integrated it into the film. You've made it part of your story.、Um, Do you think? Do you see it as being different? If, if these are people who do know they're being photographed, in fact, they're performing for the camera. It's it's a different thing from the unconsciousness or unawareness of of people caught in surveillance footage. Uh, because this is actually a very interesting question. What is it? Because in this, in this few years, in this making the film, the world has changed so much. The world has changed so much. 包括这个监什么是监控影像的概念都很难判断了。嗯、um, ，That's a very good question.、Um, throughout the process of making this film, which is over a number of years, as you know,、uh, things change dramatically. Our understanding of what is a surveillance、um, film、yeah. uh, footage changed. 比如说，在这几年之内呢，出现了行车记录仪。那行车记录仪呢，它是一个活动的监控。嗯，这个算不算监控影像 ？For example, one thing that that that's quite new is the technology. You know, this camera that you put uh in front of your and the in front of your car dashboard. Yes. yes that's yes. a new technology. So that's a dash cam. Sorry, that's a moving uh footage. So is that is that surveillance or is that not? Yeah. The 美国警察又带着这个东西，是吧？哈、huh?。So American police also have to wear a camera. 然后又有了这种什么 GoPro. Oh, and then GoPro. Yeah. 那这个东西算不算监控？ Are these all part of surveillance? Yeah, 当然，刚才同你说的这个，就是说网红的这种现象，是不是监控？对。And、uh, yeah, yeah, the the kind of mini celebrity that you refer to belongs to the same category of you know other other surveillance. 所以说，在今天，其实是任何的旧有的概念，其实都在受到颠覆。So any pre-existing concept that you have, um, is being challenged today. Yeah. 所以呢，我们只能够判断，就是说。在我们这使用的所有的画面都不是为了这个电影拍摄的。So our kind of method of selection is every footage used in this film were not made for this film. 嗯，呃，对，他是他是他是这样的一个，我我们只能这样的一个判断了。So this is how we make 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 the judgment call. 总的来说，就是说这个电影呢是没有一个摄影，没有摄影师，也没有一个演员。So we had we have no cameraman and no actor for 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 the film. 但是呢，居然可以做出一个 fiction movie， 就是因为什么呢？因为呃，只有在今天才可以做出这种电影。Um, it's only today that we have the possibility of making a film like this. 嗯，我就老说，我们的工作方法呢和当代文明呃是相匹配的。So I, I think our method of working is is consistent with um uh 
cultural today. Civilization today. 呃，也就像什么呢？比比如说，就是说，呃，这个东西有点像那个 Uber 打车的。So you you can um it's similar to Uber in a way the taxi. This Uber 的 company 呢没有一辆车，但是全程的车都在为他工作。Um Uber doesn't own a single vehicle, but every vehicle in town is working for Uber. 嗯，我没有一个摄影师，但是全世界的或者说全中国的，只要是上传到网络上的摄像头。都是我们的摄影师，都在为我们二十四小时的工作。So so we don't have cameraman, but every single operating camera that's uploading to the internet are working for us twenty four seven. I have dozens more questions, but I think it's about time you had a go. So let's stop my things. Yes, uh, lady in the middle here. Can we get a mic down here, please? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I I like to speak Chinese to Xu Bing. Okay, Maybe please. Okay, I'll translate, translate the question. Then. Yeah. 呃、uh, ，非常感谢看您的那个呃《蜻蜓之眼》。然后本来我是有两个问题。第一个关于就是我们这个监控摄像头呃摄像内容，它是不是涉及到这个隐私或者是伦理道德问题？但是不好意思，他已经已经先问过了，所以这个就很遗憾的就过去了。然后呃第二个问题是，其实是。Sorry, let me just uh, interrupt for one second. So she, uh, th thanks Xu she, she Bing for, for, for the film. Um, originally she had two questions, one relating to privacy and then permission of, of using these footage, which Tony covered, and the second question. Uh, the second question is, uh, 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 the second question is basically, uh, does the film, uh, the, the story come to you first or, or uh, and then you collected footage to support the story or was it the other way around? Mm. Uh, so, so this film is, is different from how every other film is, is made? Yeah. Yeah. 然后呢，我们再去不是，其实我们是先有了很多的材料，然后呢，呃，又有了一个基本的故事，然后呢，再去找这些材料，然后呢，找到了有意思材料呢，然后再改我们这个故事，就是这个来来回回的是这样的一个过程。So there's actually a lot of back and forth. We first started with a lot of material, um, and then we would create a basic storyline, and then we try to find material. Material to support the storyline, and then we adjust the storyline. Um, lots of back and forth. 对，所以这个也让这个 Tony 呢，呃，很麻烦，因为我们老让他改来改去的这个，因为他做的这个翻译。Um, so it created a lot of trouble for Tony actually because we went back to him many times uh, to to ask for translation for for the storyline. <laughs> I, I remember what, uh, the very first time I visited your studio in Beijing uh, on one of these 20 computers. You have computers everywhere recording this stuff uh, around the clock. Uh, you, you brought me over and you showed me on one computer there is some kid, I think in Tianjin, if I remember rightly, who is video blogging. And he's basically trying to crowdfund his own sex change operation. He wants to change gender and he has no money to do it. So he's soliciting from his fans out there in cyberspace, he's trying to get support and money to do it. Now, he is not in the final film. Uh, you, you must have recorded hours of this kid, but uh, he's not in the film. However, his story is in the film, in a way, because basically Ker Fan becomes this kid. I mean, he, he changes his gender or his identity, his sexual identity, the, the, the climax of the film. So maybe that's an insight into how this process worked for you. Did you have a question? <laughs> no, it's just a comment. It's a comment on the process. Okay. It's a supplement to what you just said. I'm sorry. It's a, it was, I was just offering an anecdote which might have illuminated your point. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. He agrees. He agrees. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 实际上这里面的画面呢，就是最早的画面，上个世纪的九九年的
最这个近的画面呢，是这个去年六月份我们定检之前的。So the oldest footage in the film was was from a century ago in in the in 1990s, and then the um the latest was right before we we made the final cut in June of last year. 嗯，因为我们呃最后决定还是留着这个真实的时间码。We decided to keep the original timing, um, as you could probably see in the film. 所以呢，这样呢就构成了一个很有意思的一个时空的一个关系。You created a very interesting concept and relationship between time and space. Anybody? Uh, hello. Um, my name is Christopher Fox, and I had a question about um, the. Uh, intentions you may have on uh, the effect of this film in triggering people uh, outside of a state of indifference uh, regarding surveillance, and whether uh, you would rather see a response uh, leaning towards us uh, being more sincere and critical of uh, surveillance everywhere, or if you'd rather see a response of more playfulness and maybe a, a romantic relationship with. Uh, being being on film everywhere we are. When you say response, whose response were you were you meaning? Uh, of the audience. Ah, like, the so for instance, audience if, watching the film. If if an audience, uh, if if one intention of the film is to to trigger response of the audience out, outside of a state of uh, indifference ah. regarding surveillance, like which path? Oh, I see. Would okay. Like to see them take. Yeah. yeah. Uh,我觉得呢，在今天哈，呃，我我们其实是对今天的这种，对今天的这种，或者这种隐私也好，或者对今天的这个无处不在的监控摄像头，呃，呃，也好，其实我们是没有办法的。um, today, we, we, um, in fact, we have there's nothing we can do about about protecting our privacy um, because we're we're being monitored everywhere. Mm-hmm. So it, it it doesn't matter if you if you hate it if it really annoys you. There's nothing you can do to change it, or you might just get used to it. Um, in which case, it's it's the stare is not there. It doesn't make a difference. Um, uh, because actually, what? For example, what? Ah, we are now talking about this relationship between watching and not watching. Actually, all the people here are here. On the road, you come from home to here. On the road, your behavior has been recorded. Uh, here we are talking about a relationship between, uh, you know, being monitored or not. In fact, everyone who's sitting in this room, um, you were tracked on your way here from, from, you know, wherever you left. So, so every so what everyone's action supplies data to to these big brothers. So, 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 uh, so what is your payback? Perhaps it's it's um, getting a quicker answer from your iPhone. Yeah. Uh, so you know, every country in this world, ninety percent of crimes were solved based on surveillance footage. 
，就这个东西其实它带有两面性，嗯，一个是影响了我们的隐私权，但是呢，它确实又在帮助社会在建立一种这个规范。So it's a double-edged sword, if you if you if you call it, um, uh, because it invades our privacy, but at the same time it creates uh, rules that guides the society. Um,人脸识别系统啊，嗯，人脸识别系统最后发展的特别快啊，而这个最后一个人你闯了红灯或者说这个呃踩到了那个什么呃不该踩的那个交通的那个线。都会被警告和惩罚，这些的，呃，都在改变着人的行为规范了。嗯、um, ，so for example, facial recognition technology is is improving so fast. Um, anyone who runs a light or or disobeys a certain traffic rule, um, is is caught very easily. And all these things, these little things, really change our action and how we behave. 所以从这个有这个以后呢？那在中国，每一个人过人行横道的时候，就比过去要守规矩很多。So for, so uh there are significantly less jaywalkers in in China now. 嗯。啊。呃 ，gentleman down here. We can second row. Sorry, I think yeah, be easy. You mind to pass it along? Thank you. Hello. Um, so, very th uh, thank you for for a fascinating film. Um, so, yeah, what you said um, is very fascinating, and um, I'm just wondering if if you if you feel the same thing. For example, um, a few uh, several days ago, when I read an article online saying that um, those big technology tycoons they they know everything about us, but we know. Very little about ourselves. For example, they, uh, especially when when it's to do, uh, as you said, like the the big data. Uh, it is about um, you know the the information around us. We we don't know too much about like what happens around us. For example, like people um, outside uh, outside this room, what what they are doing. But for example, those um, people from from the technology company, they know this. And you said it's um, it helps people to to um, to regulate themselves to to develop an, a new better system, but but do you feel it's also a threat to to people's privacy, saying that you know um, we are exposed to this world you know full of um, surveillance. Can I also add another point? So, and also, I would like to know your viewpoint about um, how to say. Um, oh, sorry, I lost the point, but please. Let's tackle the first one first and then see what happens. Thank you. A lot of things are are double-edged swords. It depends on how 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 we make make a judgment call, how we make a choice, how to interpret it. Yeah. Uh. So it's with this film is almost like I'm trying to prove um the the imagination of society in 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 the Truman Show. Yeah, the Truman Show's imagination, in today's this Quentin Tarantino eyes, proved the Truman Show's imagination. So what was um, what was imagined in the Truman Show um, is proven in 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 this film today, in Dragonflies. Because today's world is a big screen. 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 Because today's
because the world that we are in today is a big film set. Everyone is living in it. If that's the case, you wouldn't be here attending this event today. For example, you remember this figure who hides himself in the cardboard box. I guess he said you can choose to to do that on your way out. But actually, the, the way that things work these days is uh, doesn't matter where you are, and then um, there will be a camera that can catch you. Regardless of how much makeup you put on, the camera will be able to tell. So I think every person can't live in the camera in the world. Maybe if you live in the mountains, you know, without going outside, maybe. Actually, that's 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 not not the case. Actually, even even if you live in the mountains, you'll be caught on in the satellite. What do we do? A lady at the back on the end of the row, I think, yes. Hi, thank you so much for the film. I really enjoyed it. Um, um, should I speak loud? I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I just want to say that um, I really enjoyed the film because I feel like it raised more questions than it answered, And but I feel like that's what great art should be. Um, it, sh it shouldn't be just answering questions. It should also be raising questions. And I felt like that's, that's what the film did for me. Um, my question is, um, do you feel, uh, do you consider your, this, this particular piece of work, do you think it's a feature length film, a fiction film, or do you consider it video art? Because I feel like nowadays the, the line between what is a video art and what is um, f like movies is kind of blur. blur. So uh, I just want to know your thoughts on it. Um, is it just the um, institution is different? One is in cinema and one's in galleries and museum, or is, or there um, more to it? Thank you. Uh, 其实呢，我的艺术作品呢，如果大家了解呢，就会发现，其实我的作品呢，都是在这种边界之间在做文章。so if you're familiar with my visual art, um, I operate a lot in between in between spaces. Yeah. So any existing concept you can apply to 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 my work. Yeah. So, for example, when I uh, submit this film to film festivals, sometimes I have to fill in a form of uh, declaring whether I'm submitting a documentary or a feature film. So every frame of this film is, is more real than a documentary film. Yeah. And then the form also asks who is the lead actor, actress, or cameraman. There's nothing we can do to fill in these um, spaces. So, so, so the the concept with the the, the form, with the institution of of, of films. Um, was designed, it existed before current surveillance technology. For example, we consulted a lot of um, solicitors with regards to image rights, and then not many people can tell us exactly where the line is. Because our 
发展到现在这个程度之前设定的。Law was also the the law that we do have today is also predates the surveillance technology. Ladies and gentlemen, it's getting a bit late, um, and I can't help noticing that some people are looking a bit tired. So I, I'm going to suggest that since the ICA has a perfectly nice snack bar, drinks bar, just at the end of the corridor outside, uh, why don't we stop the formal business in here now? And if you have more questions or you want to chat less formally with Xu Bing, uh, why not do so over a drink in the bar nearby? Uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for coming and for staying. I'd like to thank Lord D for uh, helping us tonight with the excellent translation. Most of all, of course, big thank you to Xu Bing for bringing his film to London. Thank you all. Thank you.